Pneumonia is the single largest infectious cause of death in children worldwide. Pneumonia is a lung infection that can range from mild to so severe that you have to go to the hospital. It happens when an infection causes the air sacs in your lungs, your doctor will call them alveoli, to fill with fluid or pus. Babies and young children are at higher risk because their immune systems are not yet fully developed. Viruses, bacteria, and fungi can all cause pneumonia. In the United States, common causes of viral pneumonia are influenza, respiratory syncytial virus, RSV, and SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19. Although anyone can get pneumonia, it is more common in certain groups. Children younger than age 2 and people older than age 65 are most likely to develop it. Certain factors can also increase your risk of pneumonia, such as, having a weakened immune system. This is usually a problem for people who have HIV AIDS, who are alcoholic, who have had an organ transplant, or who have undergone chemotherapy or long-term treatment with steroids or other immunosuppressant drugs. Being hospitalized or being on a ventilator, or having a chronic condition including asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, structural lung disease and heart disease and smoking. The signs and symptoms of pneumonia vary from mild to severe, depending on factors such as the type of germ causing the infection, and your age, and overall health. Mild signs and symptoms often are similar to those of a cold or flu, but they last longer. Signs and symptoms of pneumonia may include, chest pain when you breathe or cough, confusion, or changes in mental awareness, in adults age 65 and older, cough, which may produce phlegm fatigue, fever, sweating and shaking chills, nausea, vomiting or diarrhea and shortness of breath. Newborns and infants may not show any sign of the infection, or they may vomit, have a fever and cough, appear restless or tired and without energy, or have difficulty breathing and eating. Pneumonia is the silent killer of children. Complications Even with treatment, some people with pneumonia, especially those in high-risk groups, may experience complications, including bacteria in the bloodstream, bacteremia. Bacteria that enter the bloodstream from your lungs can spread the infection to other organs, potentially causing organ failure. Difficulty breathing. If your pneumonia is severe or you have chronic underlying lung diseases, you may have trouble breathing in enough oxygen. You may need to be hospitalized and use a breathing machine, ventilator, while your lung heals. Fluid accumulation around the lungs pleural effusion. Pneumonia may cause fluid to build up in the thin space between layers of tissue that line the lungs and chest cavity, pleura. If the fluid becomes infected, you may need to have it drained through a chest tube or removed with surgery. Lung abscess. An abscess occurs if pus forms in a cavity in the lung. An abscess is usually treated with antibiotics. Sometimes, Surgery or drainage with a long needle or tube placed into the abscess is needed to remove the pus. You have to see your doctor if you have difficulty breathing, chest pain, 
persistent fever of 102 F, 39 C, or higher, or persistent cough, especially if you're coughing up pus. It's especially important that people in these high-risk groups see a doctor, adults older than age 65, children younger than age 2 with signs and symptoms, people with an underlying health condition or weakened immune system, people receiving chemotherapy or taking medication that suppresses the immune system. A chest X-ray is often used to diagnose pneumonia. Blood tests, such as a complete blood count, CBC, to see whether your immune system is fighting an infection. Pulse oximetry to measure how much oxygen is in your blood. Pneumonia can keep your lungs from moving enough oxygen into your blood. Sputum test. A sample of fluid from your lungs, sputum, is taken after a deep cough and analyzed to help pinpoint the cause of the infection. Your doctor might order additional tests if you're older than age 65, are in the hospital, or have serious symptoms or health conditions. These may include CT scan. If your pneumonia isn't clearing as quickly as expected, your doctor may recommend a chest CT scan to obtain a more detailed image of your lungs. Pleural fluid culture. A fluid sample is taken by putting a needle between your ribs from the pleural area and analyze to help determine the type of infection. Treatment for pneumonia involves curing the infection and preventing complications. People who have community-acquired pneumonia usually can be treated at home with medication. Although most symptoms ease in a few days or weeks, the feeling of tiredness can persist for a month or more. Specific treatments depend on the type and severity of your pneumonia, your age, and your overall health. The options include antibiotics. These medicines are used to treat bacterial pneumonia. It may take time to identify the type of bacteria causing your pneumonia and to choose the best antibiotic to treat it. If your symptoms don't improve, your doctor may recommend a different antibiotic. Cough medicine. This medicine may be used to calm your cough so that you can rest. Because coughing helps loosen and move fluid from your lungs, it's a good idea not to eliminate your cough completely. In addition, you should know that very few studies have looked at whether over-the-counter cough medicines lessen coughing caused by pneumonia. If you want to try a cough suppressant, use the lowest dose that helps you rest. Fever reducers slash pain relievers. You may take these as needed for fever and discomfort. These include drugs such as aspirin, ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin IB, others, and acetaminophen. Tylenol, others. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.